อา้าวสวัสดีครับSo sea cucumbers have a purpose. I know in China you can like buy them thousand dollars for a big sea cucumber like this. They're very expensive in China. People, the Chinese people love sea cucumbers. So we're going to be doing a little video. Yeah, a little course for you. This is going to be one hour. But we're going to talk about why people never achieve their purpose. If a sea cucumber can achieve its purpose, my sister is going to tell you what sea cucumbers do for life. Because without the ocean, we probably wouldn't be around. The ocean gives us a lot as human beings. So sea, cucum sea cucumbers are useful for the evolution of humanity. Until you can find your purpose as a human being or as a living species, even a rock has a purpose. Okay. So once you find your purpose, everything works. So since we're marketers, we're going to do this purpose thing right here in an hour, and then we're going to find a whole bunch of friends like sea cucumbers to play with. Who are on their purpose? Right, we are marketers. We're getting all the miserable people out of their miserable countries, and we're gonna show you what a good life looks like. Check this. Yeah. Out. 
กาบุงค่ะกาบมามา So we rented our scooter now. Okay, so I see you later. Eight o'clock. Okay. 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 Keys inside. Okay, c o m e Come on, g Okay, you're going first, baby girl. Do you think we should stop and get some water? Yeah, I'll just go to Lotus and get some water. Okay, this is an interesting one. Wait. Now, my sister, you've got to read to us what you cucumbers do. Okay, so uh, sea cucumber, sea cucumbers serve a useful role um, in the environment, um, in the marine ec ecosystem, actually, as they help recycle nutrients, breaking down detritus and other organic matter. After which bacteria can continue the decompensation process, so they help recycle the ocean. Mm, they help clean up the ocean. Yeah. But if you throw plastic in the ocean, they can't recycle this. Yeah, so that's not don't cool. do it. Okay, so let's think about. I think we can be sea cucumbers. Lying in the water, playing with our friends, play with the friends, just chilling, being yeah, in Thailand. Right. It's a very nice life, actually. Okay, so let's talk about what is the difference between us and sea cucumbers. So that means sea cucumbers are smarter than human beings because sea cucumbers know how to get their food. They know how to play with their friends. They live in the beautiful ocean. Yeah. And they have people come. And study them. I mean, like what we go to university. These sea yes. cucumbers are living their lives, and they we're have food. We're going to school. We're going to university. We have to fulfill some purpose the community gives us, and they're just doing their thing and being there. They are so, being. Yeah, we are human doings. <laughs> yeah. And now we're thinking about them, and thinking about our purpose. Mm. And you just said that we make our purpose by ourselves. Hold on, let's put this here so that I can get some light on you. Here we are. Hi, beautiful people. <laughs> This is my sister from Germany. Hello. Nice to meet you, people. So what were you okay? We were talking about um, we we're talking about when we first met. We were talking about people have fear of yeah. change. People have fear of change, of doing something that is not usual for their community. Probably, they are scared not fulfilling their purpose in life or not finding out what their purpose is, and then in the end they're just stuck. I guess. In Germany, I told you before. In Germany, uh, we are scared of not having enough money for getting old, and. Um, Have to live like a very poor life in the end, but it's not gonna happen because like there's a lot of uh, help from the government as well. But 
the anxiety is still there because the community um, in the community is supposed to like go to school, go to university, um, uh, go get a good job, uh, earn lots of money, uh, get a family, get a house, get children. And that's like the normal way of life. And there are few people like me who are not supposed to belong in this kind of community or not feel very welcome in this community because we want to live our lives first before we even have like a family or something like that. If we actually want a family, you know? Eddie, you're not weird. You're a visionary. <laughs> you're not weird. You're not weird at all. What? She's not weird. She's a visionary. <laughs> actually, you feel weird sometimes because yeah. in the community, it's not like the normal thing to do. So. And I meet a lot of people, very friendly people like you, <laughs> whom doesn't make me feel weird and make me feel that the others are weird, in fact, so. Yeah, no, you're not weird, you're a visionary. There's, um, I always say many are called, few are chosen, and even fewer will choose their own path. Yeah, their own path. Own path. And that's something I think not many people aren't doing in their lives. But yeah. why? Because they're influenced by a lot of other factors like other people, um, the community itself, religion maybe, I don't know. Family also, friends. Um, okay, so I want to go back to that point where you say you, f you meet a lot of people that make you feel weird for being you and saying, Okay, I see this and I'm happy that you want this path. I yeah. choose not this path. Yeah. I choose a different path. Like, how does that, why do you, why do you let that bother you? Maybe not myself. Like, they, I, I, I don't really, I try to not care how people see me. Right. Um, but if you are living in a community where like 60, 70% are living this kind of way, you don't want to live then you are feeling a bit weird and um, it's not that my friends don't like like me because I'm different but um, they're living like a whole nother life than me and sometimes um, that's not very good for the friend friendship yeah. but um, sometimes it is I don't know sometimes the friends who are sitting at home right now and like having two kids and seeing, for instance, my um, Instagram stories, they're always like, oh my God, I want to be there too. <laughs> oh, please take some, like, give me some like nannies or something and I'm giving them the kids and I'm just going right now. <laughs> so, so, I mean, that's the, uh, sometimes it's the other way around that, that they admire what you do. Mm. And that's that's nice too yeah yeah but um yeah in in germany there's always like this very high pressure you have to be someone like to make something out of your life earn money and if you don't have a good job and you don't earn money and you don't actually don't be stressed out about anything yeah. or something <laughs> then you're not a normal human human being and they're like where you're thinking and Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to this woman. Listen to this visionary. She's like, if you're not stressed out about something, you're not a normal human yeah. being. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's like in some countries, like in maybe Japan, their work is yeah. very important. Well. America is the same. America. South Africa is yeah. the same. Yeah, South yeah. Africa. Yeah. yeah. You didn't know. Visionary, I want you to remember that life cannot fail itself as it. Life cannot. Life seeks to succeed as you. Yeah, you're going to have a few bumps now and then. Yeah, sometimes you're going to take the wrong path and you're going to follow an idea that is so out of alignment with your soul's purpose 
and with your higher selves calling and you are going to be miserable you are going to be so miserable you're going to be sitting in your big house with all of your billions or your millions and you're going to be miserable <laughs> miserable it doesn't really matter whether you're a billionaire or you're a beggar you know we all want to be validated we all want to be loved we all want to be heard we all want to be seen you know we all want somebody to say yo you matter i care about you i care about your journey i want to hear the good stories i want to hear how you overcame the challenges share with me my brother share with me my sister so that when i you know hit a roadblock i'm like my sister Kristen inspired me in an interesting way you know we're here to share with each other we're here to grow with each other we're here to show each other different ways of being so that we can challenge each other's thinking and challenge each other's beliefs if something does not serve you if a belief is hindering you limiting you why continue believing things that don't make sense do you know what i mean it's like yeah we can't all pack up and go and go live in the jungle or travel the world but how can you do it in your own unique way in your own country when i started this journey i was living in johannesburg and most of the time i used to just walk and just take long walks and talk to trees It wasn't like this was a journey that happened in 2 weeks. No, this was a journey that took 25 years. 25 years. Even way before that. I used to sell uh, cans to the recycle um company in in uh, Soweto. I used to sell candy. I used to sell my artwork. I would paint and sell my artwork. And I really love hanging out with women who are innovative. So, teacher Kirsten is an artist. Her heart, her soul's prayer is of an artist. She's here to express love and art and beauty and creativity on planet Earth. But she also has a master's degree in economics and organizational psychology. and she's used all of her love and her skills and her talents and her gifts from her creativity and her art to working in the movie industry in Germany she's worked at Disney she's now working on movie projects in Germany even with a economics degree a psychology degree and as an artist so nothing is impossible it's just sometimes we fail to see the bigger picture and we focus on our problems and we just fail to see that life is purposeful figure out how you you can be a sea cucumber and be the agent for change and innovation and disruption and clearing out the old and welcoming the abundance and the beauty of nature without harming nature you know you can just go and look and scuba dive and snorkel and just be a part of nature without harming nature and just learn from nature i'm so grateful for my beautiful very very visionary who is showing herself and proving to herself that even as an artist you can study finance which is balancing the right and the left hemispheres of your brain and when you do that you are unstoppable you are irreplaceable irreplaceable you can go anywhere in the world and work because you understand finance you understand communication you understand digital strategy you understand um the human psyche psychology and i really loved studying um jungian psychoanalysis because the germans have a way man the swiss and the germans the swiss germans they just have a way of 
getting into that left hemisphere of their brain and they're just like on time every time they're so focused but that's why they burn out because i've gone down that path of just pure masculinity as women when we balance our femininity and our masculinity in business and in our families and in our personal lives and with our body temple where we yes do strength training but also dancing and yoga and movement meditation we find that there's a balance in the mind every time i'm going to travel or i'm going to go do um yeah like travel for business i always make sure that i i I connect with my body and i get centered i'm loving qigong at the moment it's my thing (laughs) it's my thing it's like it's so my thing and before i went um and before i went to meet teacher kirsten i practiced some serious hardcore qigong at the beach and i was just like you know may i bring love may i be the vessel for hope depression is the number one reason why people are committing suicide all across the world i'm so grateful to be surrounded by women who are speaking up for the men who are speaking up for the children who are speaking up for the woman and going yo man we need to work on this mental health thing we need to address depression we need to address anxiety I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that my prayers are being answered. I am meeting women who are speaking up, who have who have the education, who are who are showing us that you can take what you've got. And it might not be great for 10 years, but it's okay. Start with where you are. Stay in youth hostels. Hustle your way. Work in restaurants. Talk to people. Open yourself up. Don't be afraid. People are good yes there are people that are not good but you know i found that people are generally good people are generally good it's sometimes when we just get ourselves involved with greed and theft consciousness and jealousy and envy that it all goes bad that's when it all goes bad but you know i think we wake up in the morning just honestly trying to be good so love yourself respect yourself honor yourself integrity at all costs be a beneficial presence on this planet when you meet somebody with authenticity and integrity and honesty in your heart ask ask through prayer how can i be a beneficial presence in this person's life how can i not burden them with more problems how can i bring a solution to this person how can I how can I just add some joy or spark some hope in their soul? This is what we're here to do for each other as as people. It doesn't matter what skin color you are. We're all struggling the same. We're all suffering. We're all dealing with our own hells. Everybody's dealing with some kind of hell. Be a beneficial presence in somebody else's life. Live with integrity. Just bring the prayers of you the highest highest prayers of your soul so that you can be a beneficial presence in someone else's life and you will never have problems with money, with friends, with feeling safe on planet Earth, with anything. Because you're going to know that everywhere I go, everywhere my feet touch, the Earth is blessed. Be a blessing. Activate hope in yourself and then in all beings on planet Earth. May I be happy, may I be peaceful, may I be liberated from all ignorance, may I be liberated from all suffering, may all beings be happy, may all beings be peaceful, may all beings be liberated from all ignorance, may all beings be liberated from all suffering. Togos, 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 Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Be happy, be happy, be happy, and so it is. Bye, bye, bye.